guys, it's Tanisha from Creative Cookie Plants, planted in my classic size Happy Planner. Uh, this week I'm planting at my farmhouse and we're going to be planting the week of March the 4th through March the 10th, our first full week of March 2019. Um, I'm actually going to be using a section of my colors, my old color story or I think it's one of the original color story books. Um, this is the 1051 and I'm going to be using this color scheme here um, it's March I decided to go a little bright I've been kind of in the neutrals the last couple weeks so I just wanted to brighten it up because spring is around the corner and I want to go ahead and start marking that so I'm gonna go ahead and get started if you guys are new to my channel welcome um, I am pretty much mm, functional decorative kind of all over the place with my planner um, I like to plan my week, my daily to-dos, mostly deco here, and then whatever comes up at the bottom. Um, it changes sometimes from week to week. Last week I did it a little differently because of how my week was set up. But I'm going to kind of stick with my normal format. And I'm first going to lay down my full boxes before I put down my washi. I do that just because I don't like my full boxes sitting on top of my washi. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but first I'm going to take off this sticky note. Um, when I have appointments that come up and I've scheduled for the month, I try to put a sticky note on that date um, and also write it in pencil in my monthly calendar just so I don't forget. I kind of triple dose myself so I can make sure I remember the appointment. So this I just put down a sticky note because it was kind of a last minute appointment because I have got to get my tooth looked at. So. Let's go ahead and get started with my full boxes. And like I said, I'm going to be using this book here. Um, and I'm also going to be using this Dates and Holidays. I rarely ever get to use the colorful data stickers that are in the front of this book. And I figure since it's going to be a very colorful week, this would be my opportunity to do that. So I'm going to use those. But like I said, let me go ahead and get my full boxes down first. So I'll start with this cutie right here. And I pretty much put my full boxes in the same places every week, mainly because I really don't have anything going on on those weeks. Whoops. See, I'm already messing up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my undo. If you haven't heard of it, it is a adhesive remover. I got this from Amazon and basically you can put it on the sticker. It'll help you take up the sticker and you can still reuse it. Don't worry that it's leaving all the mess on my page. It is going to dry. I am not worried at all. I've got other stuff on the back. I'm not worried about it. Trust me. So I'm just going to put that right back on there. And just let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my next sticker. I had... A sticker one of these sticker pads I got this out of that big Joanne box that came out in like mid 2018 and I wanted to use this sticker here stripes are my favorite color this is my colorful week so I'm gonna use it I wish I had looked through it two weeks ago when I went on vacation because there was an adventure sticker in the back that went perfect with that color scheme and I'm so mad I didn't remember it was there but that's okay I'm not worried about it so I'm going to put this on Wednesday, because Wednesday is my light day of the week. It's my main off day. But I may do something, but for the most part, that's my off day. All right, I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this on Saturday. All right. And then there's one other sticker that's in my, this is a combined sticker book. This has like four different sticker books in here. It's got the quotes and what else? Quotes of faith, the original faith sticker book, productivity, and just a planner basics one. So there's a sticker in here that I needed. And I've already lost it because I'm a crazy person. You know what? I think I'm going to use this one. Now, since this is a clear sticker, 
I'm going to use my tweezers because it's harder to get these in and out. So, let me get this up. And this can go right. Ooh, Ooh adorbs. I like that. Okay. Cool. That was easy. Okay, so I got the main stuff down. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay down my washi. And I will be right back. I'm actually going to use, I'm debating if I'm going to use this blue one or this green one. But I'm probably going to use the green just because of the strips I'm going to use at the top for my to-dos. So I might just go with the green. But I'll be right back for that. Okay. Got my washi down. I decided to go with the blue just because the green looked too drab. And I wanted something a little bit more bright because I was going colorful this week. So no biggies. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually replace these numbers here with the numbers from the Dates and Holidays sticker book. And I kind of already have an idea of which colors I want to use on what days. So I know I want it to start with this blue here. And then we'll go to the green. I guess I could go ahead and use. Hmm. Yes, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to this one. I was going to use the ones up here, but I just realized I had chose a sticker that actually had orange in it and yellow. This one here. So I can actually go ahead and put my orange and yellow tip here. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. My undo is going to get a workout today. No problem, though. Now, as you can see, guys, the undo that I used earlier is already dried up. No problems. That's why I said I like using it because I can actually get a good, um, I can actually peel it up. No problems. And it'll look just fine for me. So, worked out good for me. I'm still not feeling this yellow. I'm going to skip this. <laughs> I'm going to skip it just because I want. Um, I want to see how it looks. Once I put down the yellow. But I might have to use the yellow anyway. So either way, I'm going to have to use yellow. So, I think I will go green. Hmm. Go yellow for six. Green for nine. Sorry, guys. I'm going, going back and forth with myself. I'm trying to decide which color I want wear. And I'm thinking I want the yellow. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it this way. I'm being indecisive, and it's unnecessary that I be indecisive at this point in my life. It's a sticker. Just put it down. It's not that bad. I will survive. I hope. And if not, I have undo to change it. And if you guys wonder why I'm using tweezers for such a simple task... Sometimes I just can't pick these things up, and it is just much easier for my life if I just use tweezers. So, there we go. Oh, that's looking adorable. It's all extra colorful. I like it. Okay, so I was thinking about using the Love the Weekend banner, but I'm going to hold off on that for just a second and go ahead and start laying down my check flags. And I'm actually going to be using check flags from different color schemes in this book. I just want the check flag because the ones that I normally use I don't have enough of so I'm gonna have to use these and that's fine because I actually liked having extra check flags this week the ones I normally use come from pretty cute planner sorry if you, you guys hear me rumbling but this is the kit I normally use and I love these but I'm running out and I need to get some more so I'm trying to be more strategic about how I use them and I'm not using my green this week because I'm actually going to be using those for St. Patty's week. 
So I'm going to hold on to those. And my pink ones I'm probably going to save for Easter. So I decided I'll just wait on these. I have a navel. I have like plans for these. So I don't want to use any of these right now. I was going to use the purples because I was honestly going to plan for Mardi Gras this week. But unfortunately, I could not find my Mardi Gras washi. Like last year, I had got some glitter. My, all my The same box that brought me this really pretty glitter washi had a very cute Mardi Gras one. And I'll show you guys the scheme from last week. This was just too cute. And th this is what I'm talking about, about the Mardi Gras washi. It's all these different colors and glitter. And that's what I was going to do this week. But I cannot find it. And when I tell you I had my hands on it like three days ago, I had my hands on it. And now I can't find it. So now I'm stuck without it. So I'm just not going to. I was going to keep looking for it and, you know, terrorizing myself about it. But I decided it's okay. It's gone. It's missing. Life, life will go on at some point. So I will just not do it this year. But it was very cute. So. No, no biggie. I have other stuff I can use. I just really liked that washi. Yeah, that washi for Mardi Gras week. Because I believe Mardi Gras is on the 5th this year of March. And I just, I just wanted to use it. And now I cannot find my pink. Sorry, guys. I'm looking for the pink. I'm trying to use all the ones that have hearts and check flags. So that's what I'm kind of going through right now so i'm gonna pick out all the ones i know i need to use and then i'll just put them in order so i'll just start pulling and putting them to the side and then when i know where what's going where i'll have kind of an idea of what i'm doing because i might just be stuck with blue and blue and blue i don't know how many i have because i already have one blue down that actually wouldn't be too bad if i can go blue and blue all the way through no oh, there's the pink one I gotta find all the other teal ones. Or at least a variation of the teal. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I've got enough. Yay! Alright, we're just gonna go teal and blue. Kinda like that idea. I wish I could have went just straight one color, but I'm not gonna fret about it. And I like to put these on upside down. I can get a better grasp of where stuff is supposed to be if I do it that way. I can line them up a lot better. I don't know why that is. I, I just do. And these are all different colors. None of these are the same. But when you put them together, they just look real cohesive. So I'm loving that. And plus with my plant, my, my layout this week, it really doesn't matter because everything is different colors anyway. But I just love how colorful that looks. And plus it tones down some of the color too. So I am loving that. Okay, so let me actually get started on my actual plans for the week. Um, I don't have too much going on, but just my usual to-dos and whatnot. So first thing up is going to be, except for on Monday, I have my dentist appointment. So let me get my appointment stickers. And I think they're in my big book here. I love this book because it's, I've got so many different stickers in here. So I can easily come in here and just grab what I need. So I'm actually going to grab a small, I have a small appointment sticker in here somewhere. This is why it's so important to check this stuff before you. Oh, I could have used those. Little Snapdragon. Oh, well. Aha, there we go. So. So I'm going to actually use this really small appointment sticker. And put it with one of the boxes that went with this. And that way I kind of have a good, um, I can still mark it, but not take up my whole really cute box. Just trying to find one that doesn't have metallics. Here we go. This is a good color. Mm. 
And I'm actually going to off-center it. Just because I want more of the color to show for this one. And I'm just going to put that right on top of it. That's cute. Sorry, I keep hearing my drawers open, close, open, close. I keep changing my mind about what I want to do. So I'm actually, I remember I had the Super Mom sticker book, and I'm pretty sure there's a, if it's not the dentist word, then it's actually a dentist um, little icon. And that's what I'm looking for, the icon. And there it is. They got the little teeth there. So, I'm going to take the tooth, if I can get it off of here, and pair him with there was a little circle in here I was looking for, or one of these, but I think it's too big. So, I'll just put it here in the corner. That's fine. There we go. Perfect. So I'll mark that I have to go to the dentist. That works for me. Okay. Sorry, guys. I am shadowing bad today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So that's Monday. So nothing else really for Monday. So I can go into Tuesday, but let me put at the bottom of Monday. So on Tuesday, we get our trash gets picked up sorry our trash gets picked up on Tuesday so what I normally do is I mark one on Monday we need to collect all the rest of the trash from the house and then on Tuesday to actually take the trash can out to the front so I'm going to use my colorful boxes to do that and all I'll do is I'll grab a couple colors here so something like this I think I'm going to go a little bit more bold in the color. I'll use this, these pinks. Because I really don't have any pink on this spread. I wasn't trying to do all blues and greens, but that might actually be what happens today. I'll use this blue. No, no, no. Free. See? Indecisive. It has its place in life sometimes. So I'll put those two down there, put this to the side, and then I'll go into, this is my little kit, this is where I keep all my Etsy stickers, or any like stickers that I buy off of the internet, and I grab some of these to mark whatever I need to mark. So inside here are my trash stickers. These are from osopaper.com. I actually got these as a digital and then went ahead and put uh, cut them out myself on my silhouette cameo. I don't know if you guys have seen those or heard me talk about those on here, but it's a really nice cutting machine so I can pretty much make my own stickers. I don't know if I was trying to get it off. Make my own stickers for home and I can just keep remaking these. I can't sell them, but I can make them. So I always have certain stickers. Like my bill pays were really cute this time around for my monthly budget. Oh, she's so cute and she's tiny so she doesn't take up a ton of room but she's cute okay so that's trash and then I need to mark that my husband and his friends have their podcast on Tuesday so I need to make sure I leave work on time so that he can make it for that and I actually made those stickers again on my silhouette cameo and I designed this myself for his friend for my planner so I can mark it each day and then I'm going to get another colorful box because sometimes they record at different times. They might do it super early in the morning. Uh, last week they actually postponed so that uh, one of the guys can go to his daughter's soccer game, I believe. So I'll go ahead and mark in here. 
I'll find out that day what time they're recording. So all I have to do is just write it down for me. But that's just for my security that I leave work on time. So my husband's not bugging me. Babe, where are you? We got to go. Okay. That's looking good to me. Okay, on to Wednesday. I do not have anything major planned for Wednesday. I still need to mark Mardi Gras somehow over here. I'm going to mark Mardi Gras over here somewhere. I don't know where, but I'll mark it somewhere. Nothing for Wednesday. Thursday, I have nothing major. And then Friday and Saturday. Okay, so I like I said, I have a really light week. Oh, wait, take that back. Wednesday is working Wednesday. So Wednesday, I am actually going to be working on a few crafting projects. So I want to go ahead and put that down that I have to do some extra crafting projects. But I'm going to go back in here and find the page I was on. And just grab one of my hustle stickers. So I can remember that is, oh no, you know what, I think I'm going to use focus. I think focus would be better. So I'll put that right there just to remind me, hey, we're doing something. I need to focus on my crafting this week. Okay. Just needed to fix that. And then other than that, I really don't have anything I'm working on Saturday. So I will put this busy day sticker because I actually have an event at work that I have to participate in. Normally, I lately have not been working on Saturdays, but because this is a special event, I'm going to be working on Saturday. And I also need to mark daylight savings time. So usually, guys, usually I have a sticker, a, a picture that I use for the last couple years for daylight savings time. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of who, uh, I think his name is Benny Hinn. He's a uh, preacher and he's really famous for, you know, slinging his coat and <laughs> knocking people <laughs> like, um, you know, it's, you know, I guess it's called slaying it in the spirit or whatever, but he'll knock people out. So the picture I have is him. He's swinging this big white coat and I found a picture that correlates with the, the changing of the times um but it's for the fall and it's it says um daylight savings is coming everybody fall back i have to show it to you guys one day but it's the funniest sticker and i would love to use it for the spring but unfortunately <laughs> it is not available for spring um but it's such a cute sticker you guys are probably be seeing that in the fall because i think it's hilarious so i'm actually going to put this sticker right in between Saturday and Sunday because that's when it happens and I I'm actually getting this out of my dates and holidays book again um, this is one of the things I loved about it because it has stuff like spring forward in there for me so I can actually go ahead and mark it this year Ooh, and it looks like I'm gonna have to put it like almost sideways to fit the whole thing in there there we go that's cute Okay. All right, guys. All I need now is my sidebar, and I am done. That was easy. Let's see here. I actually want to use some of my Oso paper stickers this week. I just have a hankering for some Oso paper. And I do need to mark. Ooh, she's perfect. Now, this girl, I don't think she's available anymore, but this was called Spring Fling. This was from last year, and she is just so cute, and she's so perfect for this week. So, I think I'm going to use her in my sidebar. I've been trying to use up my stickers. I'm trying to stop buying stuff until I use the stuff that I already have. And last week, I used the other girl from Oso Paper. And I decided I'm just going to use her. She is so cute. I don't think there's anything else on here I need to use. 
No. But I will use a quote and put it right above her. That'll work. There's another, there was another quote that went with this kit. And let's see. It said, enjoy the moment, make today count, trust your gut, make the most of today. Start each year with a grateful heart. I'll use this hello today. That's cute. Oh, and it perfectly matches her too. Okay. Let me lift up her head just a little bit. Then that way I can kind of stick this and layer the stickers together. That's cute. And then all I got to do is take my scissors and trim off the excess. Cuteness. Okay, then. So other than that, the only other thing I need to mark is that I need to buy my new book for book club. I believe voting closes this week for my, I have an online book club that I'm in. And I believe voting closes this week. So I need to make sure I make my selection for that. And then also go and purchase my book. And I believe this round I'm actually going to Barnes & Noble to buy my book. I try to round out. I don't want to just buy all my books from Amazon or Kindle or wherever. I want to make sure I'm using Barnes & Noble as well. So I will... Uh, I will go ahead and do one audible one book and then the next book I'll do Barnes and Noble the book after that I'll do um, Kindle or something just so that all my things are getting a fair shape there and so all I need to go with that is my book club sticker because we have um, I bought some stickers that perfectly match um, th that has our logo book club logo on it so I'm going to use that and this is her here I do love these stickers. They are so cute. So that's just my reminder for book club. And guys, I honestly think this is it. I am done. That is so awesome. Ooh, record timing. All right, guys. So this is my week. I really don't have anything else going on. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to keep seeing my videos, don't forget to get don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, I will be recording next week, hopefully. Um, but if not, I will still let you guys see my planner. I just won't be doing the voiceover. Because um, I might, depending on how this dentist appointment comes out, <laughs> I might be having wisdom teeth pulled. So we'll see. But um, if I don't record, I'll still, let you, I'll still take pictures and let you guys see all what I did. I just might not actually talk through it. Um, but that's it guys. Um, hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.